Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Explanation. So in today's video, I am going to discuss about only the theoretical part of various commands which comes under DML command, DDL command and DCL command. Okay, so I am just going to talk about the theoretical or very basic about what all commands, what all queries come under all three, three categories okay so first one is dml command dml means data manipulation language okay so this dml command this dml command it deals with deals with manipulation of data is stored in database so what does manipulation means okay so manipulation means it allows the user in order to insert the data so what are commands that comes under this dml is insert the data update the data retrieve the data and delete the data okay so what are the commands we have got insert command for inserting the data we have got update command for updating the data for example if there is a table there is employee table okay and if you want to insert the value of a new employee so we'll use insert command if you want to update the name of any employee we are going to use the update command if you are going to delete any record for example if you want to delete this particular record we are going to use delete command okay so these are the commands that comes under dml that is data manipulation language next one is second category of command which is ddl that is data definition language so it focus on defining and managing the structure of database okay so these commands are there they are used to create the table to alter the table okay and to delete the database okay so in this to delete the database so in this there are certain commands so first command is create command c r e a t a so create command it is used to create you know it is used to create tables next is alter command it is used to delete the whole table okay there are two commands that is create command and sorry this is drop command drop okay drop it deletes the whole table and then there is one more command which is known as alter command a l t e r alter command alter command is used to modify the structure of database for example if you want to add a new attribute known as email for the student so we can use alter command okay and next one is fourth one is truncate command so truncate command it is used to remove all record without deleting the without deleting the table okay third category category of command is dcl command okay so let's see what comes under dcl command third is dcl command so what is dcl dcl command is data control language so in dcl command we have got this is concerned with the control and management control and management of data so under this we have got two command first one is grant command okay it is going it is used to give permission permission to user in order to change any data and second one is revoke command okay so it is used to remove the privilege it means that 
if i grant any command if you will if you grant any role or any permission to the user they can go and do a particular change in the database but if you revoke the same privilege it is not going to it is not going to change the database in any way okay so it means that taking away the role or taking away the grant and it means that providing the privilege or providing the command okay so that's all for uh, ddl dcl and dml commands all these commands we are going to see by practically implementing it okay so later i'll be using all these command in sql and show you the practical use till then stay safe and thank you